When I do client projects, I have to answer three questions. What, by whom, and by when? That need is what led me to the tools I've settled on using to manage those three questions. Those tools are Asana and Google Calendar. And if you want to learn more about Asana, I have a full reviewed link in the description below. Asana lets me plan and manage team communication of the what and by whom, and Google Calendar lets me block out the when to make sure that I block adequate time daily around meetings and other items to complete those related tasks. Let's take a look at how I set that up as a working tool. So here's my desktop. Every day I have three things open, Outlook, Google Calendar, and Asana. On my Asana board, I have multiple project boards, most of which are locked private. From there, I also create specific shared boards for name projects like this one, where I invite colleagues to join and post comments and information. My board design projects is everything currently in progress or planned. I have a column for planned, projects in development, QA and approved stages. Now, if we go to Google Calendar, you can see that each in-process project has a block of time assigned to it in my day with the name of the project embedded. This way, I know I have allocated hours needed that week. Let's say if I know a client may be out of the office that week, I can note that in Asana and fill in the time by distributing that time to the other projects. At the start of a project, we work with the client to scope out the number of weeks and apply a formula based on features of how many per hour days it'll take to complete. But that's beyond the scope of this short video, but you get the idea. Now, you might be asking why I don't just use Outlook. Well, for me, Google Calendar syncs to all of my devices for on-the-go edits anytime, whereas my firm's Exchange server is not nearly as flexible as the cloud is. Plus, Google Calendar, as you can see here, by looking at my numerous calendars, lets me keep work and personal all in one place, with different views as an option on any device. My advice to you is to have as few calendars and list tools as you can for your life. The more you separate tools, the more they manage you and not you managing them. I do, however, take Outlook emails that require project-related action, and I plug them into Asana in the project that they belong to. And this is far more efficient for me than creating Outlook subfolders with massive email dumps and saves that I need to wade through at another time. I like better taking action the moment it comes in by deciding if it's actionable or not, and then I decide on the spot. So I hope that maybe has given you some ideas on using social tools to help you get your team on track and your time budgeted so that you can fulfill all of your client obligations. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.